Several regions in central Texas have implemented extensive highway noise barrier systems, tall concrete sound walls, throughout major roadways to reduce traffic noise for nearby residential areas. To assess the reactions of bat populations at locations across the hill country to noise barrier construction and other land use modifications, this person ob uh, observed bat populations consisting of 23 species, including this one and this one. Employing the bat population health score, the BPHS, on which a low rating corresponds to low population health, the scientists found that the noise barrier construction more negatively affects bats than does land development for uses such as commercial or agricultural activity. So they said a ton of stuff, but really simply, they're building these tall sound walls, and they found that these tall sound walls, as opposed to commercial or agricultural activity, these tall sound walls had a more negative effect. But when we read our question, we're always looking for this to support or challenge or undermine. We do see that we want to challenge this finding. So what we actually want to read in our answer is instances where commercial or agricultural activity more negatively affected the bats than did the sound walls. In A, bat populations at Pecan Cross, a location with a high percentage of developed land and noise barrier coverage. Well, that's a huge red flag because the whole goal is developed land versus the sound walls. And preferably, we want to find the sound walls being better for bats than the developed land. So if I see any of my answers where it groups them together with and as opposed to verse each other, I know I can mark them wrong. So we can get rid of A. In B, bat populations at Oak Valley, a location with low percentage of developed land, and high percentage of the sound walls had a higher rating than did the bat populations at Mesa Trail, a location with a high percentage of developed land and a low percentage of the sound walls. So this outlines exactly what we were looking for in our answer to challenge that sound walls are worse for bats. We wanted to find a location where there's a ton of sound walls, but the bats are doing great, as opposed to uh, where there's a ton of developed land and the bats are doing worse. So B is going to be our perfect answer here. In C, bat populations at Willow Bend, a location with a low percentage of developed land and a high percentage of the sound walls, had a lower rating. So I don't even need to finish reading. This would be like the antonym to our answer. 